Hi guys, how are you today? I wanted to jump on here really quickly and uh, go over this story with you. This is a story about Tom Girardi being indicted. Okay, so uh, as I just said, Tom Girardi is being indicted for misappropriating more than $3 million in settlement funds from the uh, crash victims of uh, Lion Air. Now, the difference between this lawsuit and his other lawsuits, this one is criminal. Okay, which means if he's found guilty, he will go to jail. Now, Tom isn't the only one included in the lawsuit. We have his accountant. His name is Christopher Kamen. He's listed on the lawsuit. And then we have another attorney. His name is David Lira. He also used to work at the now debunked uh, Girardi Keese law firm. And for some of you who may not know, David Lira is also Tom's son-in-law. He is married to Tom's daughter. And here's another unusual thing about this case. In his other civil lawsuits, Tom has been declared to have dementia and have trouble remembering things. He also lives at a, a retirement home that specializes in patients of, with Alzheimer's disease. But here's the thing with this case. With a criminal case, he has to get evaluated by a doctor, which will require extensive testing. They just You can't just say now that, okay, he has it. You have to show that there are proper tests, there are MRIs being ran. You have to show that he really legitimately is a patient that suffers from dementia. So for some of you who were wondering, does he really have dementia or is he just saying that so he doesn't have to go to court? No, 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 no. With this new case, criminal lawsuit, he really has to have it. It's no more skating around or, you know, lying about it. it the test will reveal if he's truly a patient with not only dementia or if it's advanced to Alzheimer's disease. Also, the difference between this lawsuit and his other lawsuits, his other lawsuits were civil, which means, okay, you've got to pay back some money. And they label that by the preponderance of the evidence. In layman's terms, uh, you know, we don't have 100% proof here, but most likely he did it, okay? And with the criminal case, it's beyond a reasonable doubt. You actually have to have more hardcore evidence. I don't even see an attorney taking this to court unless you have evidence. So what I'm thinking is the Lion Air families are going to come in and testify one by one what did this do to them not being able to get their settlement. And when you start putting children on the stand that say, you know, not only did I have to deal with the death of my loved ones, I couldn't even go to college because we didn't have our money. Or even worse, maybe an orphan on the stand that said, I lost both of my parents in the plane crash, and now I don't have any money to support myself because I was waiting on the settlement money. And I guarantee you, when the jury hears stories like this, they're going to get angry all over again. However, let me remind you, if Tom can prove that he truly has dementia or Alzheimer's, he won't even take the stand. This case will no longer see the light of day. And that's what I'm waiting for. I really want to know, does Tom suffer from dementia or some form of Alzheimer's? Or was he just pulling the wool over our eyes yet again? Now, as far as Erica's concerned, she is not included in the lawsuit. And get this, she won't have to testify either because they are still married. And it makes me wonder, did they stay married because of something like this? I'm just saying, I'm just curious like everyone else because Erica has had more than enough time to follow through with this so-called divorce that she's allegedly going through. This has been going on for a long time. And she even said on camera, I'm in no rush to get divorced. Do you guys remember she said that? So why not? Why aren't you in a rush to get a divorce? You claim that you guys are estranged, you haven't talked to Tom at all, and then you slipped up and said that you talked to him every day last season. Why are you talking to him every day? Is he still lucid at times, or was this another scam? Is he really not a dementia patient at all? So I'm glad that this lawsuit is coming to fruition because I want to get to the bottom of 
does he really have dementia or some form of Alzheimer's? I mean, I always thought, you know, in the bottom of my heart, no. But, you know, let's see. I, I'm not always right. I'm not always right, even maybe 20% of the time, okay? So uh, let's see what goes on from here. Uh, what's next for this case? But as of right now, this is the most trouble that Tom has ever been in. He is looking at jail time, people. So let's just sit back and see how things play out. In the meantime, let me know in the comment section, does your gut tell you that Tom truly has dementia or some form of Alzheimer's disease? Or do you think this is another scam? Also, if you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a video, don't forget to do that. Also, don't forget to like this video so we can get it circulating around the internet. And I'll meet you guys down in the comment section. We have a lot to talk about today. Until next time, bye for now.